Tesla has made some very significant changes to its new cars. New hardware for system, which is now in Tesla Model Ys, coming from the factory in California, soon Texas and China as well, will have these changes, which are quite interesting. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans, and I'm the Electric Viking. Great to have you. New Tesla Model 3 and Model Y will have hardware for. Now, some cars coming out of the factory now have it. Some, of course, don't, depending on what location they're coming from. But eventually, I'd say within the next two, three months, all cars coming from Tesla will have hardware for. All of them will have the hardware changes, meaning new cameras, different cameras with different ranges, as well as different megapixel resolutions. But there's some other changes here that haven't really been widely documented. The pillar cameras on the side of Tesla's cars can now reach up to 600 feet viewing range. That's massive. That's like 200 meters. And that will enable Tesla's cars to detect approaching vehicles significantly earlier and allow the driver assist software to react better. Well, I don't think it's going to react better just because of that. I mean, obviously, faster processing system will help, but also I think the higher resolution cameras and their anti-fog and anti-water coating will help as well. The side camera range improvement has been implemented in the newest full self-driving beta software update by Tesla. The new full self-driving beta 11.4.2 version that is rolling out to Tesla employees and customers is a significant update, possibly the most significant that we've seen in over a year, as it introduces a way to new features, fixes some bugs, and doubles the viewing range of those side pillar cameras. Tested by Chuck Cook, the B pillar cameras can now catch the first glimpse of oncoming traffic, in other words, traffic that's coming from your sides, as far out as 623 feet or 190 meters. That's a very, very long distance away. This compares to the current 262 feet or 80 meters that Tesla cited in its range. Now, this doesn't sound significant, does it? I mean, you'd think 80 meters, that's far enough. But actually, if a car is going fast and not about to stop, 80 meters is not much. If, for example, a car is doing, say, 100 miles an hour, you'd cover that in a couple of seconds. So it's really significant, this change. I think it could be a big safety improvement. The upper limit has now been raised to 400 to 600 plus feet, depending on the side and the conditions, essentially doubling the previous viewing range and allowing the full self-driving software to react earlier and in a more precise manner, say, users. Even though that only leaves Tesla's driver system seven to eight seconds to adjust if the vehicle approaching is traveling at 50 to 60 miles an hour, that is still much better than the previous system's time to react to the driver's input, other driver's input, dangerous driver's input, whatever that may be. Now, obviously the human eye can detect moving vehicles quicker than Tesla's B-pillar cameras in the Hardware 3 kit. However, a lot of people say that this new Hardware 4 system can react quicker possibly than the human eye can. And in fact, Hardware 4.0 now actually compares similarly to the human eye's ability to see in advance. And in terms of peripheral vision, it could be possibly quite a lot better because seeing in front of you is very different to seeing to the side of you. So one of the other noticeable differences that I've talked about a few times is the cameras. There's an extra camera, 12 cameras. All of them now have an increased resolution of five megapixels up from the previous one megapixel apparently. And yeah, there's actually two extra cameras on the sides that will allow for faster and more precise full self-driving reactions. Plus, they actually eliminate a potential blind spot that was still there in the previous Hardware 3. I think what makes this all actually quite interesting is how this is all gonna tie into Tesla's new cars, the new Model 3 Highland, the new Model Y Juniper. How is it gonna change those cars? Because there's lots of other changes potentially coming out in those cars as well. The tie-ins will be really interesting. I think the package coming from Tesla with the Model 3, the new version, and then again with the Model Y next year, first quarter of next year with the Model Juniper, it could be significantly better than analysts believe. But one of the key things that Tesla are focused on, we've got to keep this in mind as well, is cost. Keeping cost of production down in order to actually sell cars at their current prices, which are very, very affordable, or at least for a lot of people they are, and much more affordable than they used to be, whilst still making a profit. That's the big challenge that Tesla has to face here. They bring out new products, new things, new, new increases 
possibly in range, in specification, etc. Hardware for new cameras, but they've got to keep costs down. That's going to be a big challenge. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.